Manson. <laughs> And uh, probably for you know very good reason because again uh, we're very passionate. Very, uh, how would you describe the your the experience that you had here this evening at this meeting? Uh, I'm hoping that it was meaningful. Only time will tell, but I'm hoping it's meaningful. Uh, I believe it's important that uh, I express to my fullest how sincere and how serious the situation is and uh, how much I believe that they should be a part of the, the, the solution. Now, to, to a lot of people in the community, you might be that guy that shows up and is very passionate, yells at people at these meetings. Do you think that, you know, the, the message that you want to portray here tonight, obviously you did it very emphatically. Do you feel that you got that message across to those in the room tonight? Uh, only time will tell. Time will tell. Time will tell. We've had these conversations before, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they. We have taken some baby steps since my uh, starting to engage in the community. So uh, hopefully this will push them in the right direction. But just so the community is clear, I'm not going to change until you change, and so we'll be in this together. Now, I may be asked these questions out of order, but what was the message that you wanted to portray here tonight? The message is, uh, in order for us to really make change, you have got to get out your own way as a white community and really allow those voices of social and economic change be heard. Uh, make that room at that table instead of constantly telling us what we need. Make sure you know what we need and then you pursue it as if we were white people. So what you know what you're saying is <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying is you know maybe what you think that I need is not exactly what Ab I need. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. So what what is if if you could wave a magic wand tonight and make one change right here in Wausau, whether that be, you know, from housing perspective, whatever, so we did talk a little bit about housing yes, here today. That, yes. was, that was kind of part of the backdrop. What would that be? Uh, it would be authentic uh, representation within uh, the city infrastructure, meaning uh, city council members, county board members, and an equitable balance placed in power as immediately, along with the school board, as we know if the schools aren't education, educating equitably, the outcomes still remain the same. So it would be to basically uh, infuse the infrastructure of power immediately with a presence of black people. I mean, I don't think we need to have it up a hand to create equality. <laughs> we just need equality to have equality. And, uh, you know, in some of these meetings, in previous meetings, you know, you've, there's been storm outs, there's been things like that. Did you feel in those meetings that you maybe had the ear of the city council the way you did tonight? That's not important to me. I guess okay. it, at the end of the day, we'll find out whether or not any of this is making a dis difference because it will be based on action. If, if, if I could re-ask that question, then do you feel better tonight than maybe you did in some of those other situations? Yes. You do? Yes. I think they were more responsive. I think more of them really did uh, acknowledge that maybe we do uh, get a response to individuals, especially when they're passionate or, or and they're black, that we're now acknowledging and that, you know what, it's not what we are perceiving it to be. What would you like the, uh, you know, maybe the next session like this to focus on? Uh, I'd like us to learn to not keep doing things without communicating first. Like this meeting took place, but they didn't communicate with anybody from our community as to say, hey, how should this come off? Do you have a representative that want to join them in this discussion? That's the basic principle, communication, connection, and learn to build together. Anything else that you'd like to add then before we uh, let you go? No, I'm good. All right.